Well, I can dance. No. Uh, I can speak English. Forget it. Could you please help me? Yes, dear Lana. Welcome you all to Lead Us English. Yes, as we know, verb is considered as a heart in English sentence. And of course, model auxiliaries are very important in English grammar. You can see many advanced students feel awkward or confused when they are using model auxiliary in their sentence. And as a beginner, of course, it's very tough. As a teacher, I often observe this, that many of my students become puzzled when they are using model auxiliary in their sentence and absolutely when they are using can and could in their sentence. So this buddy you will help them to understand the slight difference between this can and could and how to use in sentence this can and could. Well, dear Lana, let me inform you that basically there is no difference between them. Only there are difference between meaning. If we talk about formation, actually there is no difference. So, of course, I will show you everything in detail. So, so to inform you that can actually means one kind of ability or capacity or of course possibility that someone has so if we talk about like i can dance that is general in that case you can use can once again if i talk about can of course remember very important thing that a, this word can basically come before present form of a verb so dear learner let's start to learn more about these functions and where to use can and it will help you a lot so let's move to the board well you can see dear learner here i have written where to use actually can exercise on can can shows the capacity already i have mentioned this it's a basic thing that what can actually means can shows the capacity, ability of doer in present, that means in present form. If we talk about verb V1 base form, well, and the formation is very easy. Remember this thing, it will help you a lot to make a sentence and when you are speaking in English, in this time, this formation will help you a lot. Well, dear learner, you can see at first use subject. Your subject may be singular or plural. After that, you have to use can as a model auxiliary. And don't please forget this thing after can. You have to use present form of verbs. Here, I have written here in short form. That means V1. Actually, this means base form of verb. After that, you have to write here object. So, we can say can actually is used in a sentence followed by present form. Well, here are some examples are already prepared for you. I hope if you follow these categories and of course it will be a great source of learning where to use can. And all of your confusion will go away. So, let's start from ability. This word ability here remember can actually use to say ability what type of ability you have okay this example are i can swim all right it's very good it's a general thing you can so like this you can say you can change this subject he she they we like this and can is a common thing you have to use after that you can change this verb you can write here or say here i can read i can walk i can talk i can write anything any kind of verbs you can write but remember one thing i have earlier mentioned it, that after can you have to use present form of a verb well next example for you i can speak english that's good 
Well, you can see can is used here before verb speak. So when you want to talk about ability, of course, and one another thing very important when I was talking that this can basically used to means present form of verb. What type of activities you are doing right now. So next come offer. If you want to offer anything to anyone, in that case, you can use this word can. And the example, can I help you to find out the missing paper? That means you are offering someone to help her or him. It was a nice offer. In that case, he may say yes or uh, no, anything. So when you want to offer in that case, of course, you can use this word can. Next come request. Request. Another use of can. And the formations are as usual the same I have mentioned above of this example. Yes. Request. You can see example. Can I ask you a question? It's a request. You are requesting someone to uh, asking permission. Well, can I ask you a question about basic English grammar? Well, so you can change this subject and after that you can change your verb. By this way, you will be able to write more sentence in English. At the same time, you can be able to speak in English. Well, next come suggestion. Well, dear learner, uh, sometimes a uh, situation come when you want to give a suggestion to your friend, to your family or anyone. In that case, without hesitation, you can use can to give him her or her a suggestion. So example, as you can see, you can take a break. That means whom you are talking he is actually exhausted he is feeling bored like this so you are suggesting him that you can take a break to reduce boredom it's quite good and it's here to very good next permission you are asking permission in that case you can use this can so how to use this can well let's see can I go outside mother. You are asking permission from your mother to play with my friends. To your friends, that's why you are asking permission. In that case, you are also permitted here to use can. And don't remember important thing that you have to write present form of a verb. And like this other example you can change here the subject you can change here the verb and the object form then it will help you a lot to improve your english speaking or writing well next possibility that means actually uh, it's in, in real it's not happening but there may be a possibility to happen in future so in that case you can use can so let's have a look to the example i know you can win actually he is not going to own won this but you are it's a possibility is your assumption in that case you can use can so i know you can win the debate competition so like this way you can say uh, i know you can do this you can do uh, better in your life in future like this way you can wish your friends family so dear learner use this can as much as possible in your writing or speaking because all the formations are same just you have to remember the uses where to use and how to use remember i just repeated for you once again that can you can use can to ask uh, to um, realize someone ability offer request suggestion permission and possibility 
so dear learner that's all about can and of course if you follow this thing definitely you will be able to write a perfect english uh, or you can be able to speak in english properly so use it in your sentence and of course it needs practice so dear learner please use this use of can and exercise them a lot so that you can improve your english and remember the formation is the basic formation to use can so that's all for today we'll talk about could in my next class thank you all